guys, do you see Mew Mew? She's like, I see you outside. Can I join you? Guys, my wife, Strider, she could use a little help. Let me explain why. A few days ago, I get shaken awake at like four o'clock in the morning. Hey, wake up, wake up. And it's my wife, it's Strider. She says, babe, I can't feel the right side of my face. It is completely paralyzed. So instantly grab a shoe and a sock and like one flip flop and we're out the door straight to the emergency room. And we had so many tests, MRIs, CT scans, specialists, other doctor calling other doctors and neurologists and ENT surgeons. And very long story short, very long, scary story short, it turns out it's something called Ramsey Hunt syndrome, never heard of it. I think most people haven't because it's incredibly rare. And I'm gonna give you a 10 second rundown of what it is because it's actually kind of fascinating. Chicken pox, most people know what chicken pox are. You get it when you're a kid, usually. Uh, you're immune for it for the rest of your life, right? You get it when you're young and that's it, never again. But what I didn't know was when you get the virus that causes chicken pox, it actually stays in your system forever. It never goes away. So it's just chilling in your brain or in your spine or in your eyeball, I don't know where it is, it's just living there. And most of the time, it never reactivates, and that's the end of the story. Sometimes it'll reactivate when you're an adult. I had no idea that this was a thing, but when it does reactivate, it's no longer called chicken pox, it's called shingles. I don't know, I kinda like chicken pox better, it sounds nicer than shingles, I don't know. But apparently there's a couple varieties of shingles, and one is way rare, and of course it's the one that, of course, it's the one that Strider gets, the super rare version where instead of these chicken pox busting on your skin, they surfaced internally on a nerve, on a facial nerve, Basically, essentially just cutting everything off, all feeling. So the pain has been rough, but manageable. But yeah, there's definitely some pain there. Uh, every day is a little bit better than the last. They say that it's gonna be a couple weeks up to six months before she gets feeling uh, back in her face, uh, movement back in her face. So right now she's still paralyzed and she might be that way for a little while, but you know, we're, we're optimists. She's a, she's a, a, a machine, she's a tank. Um, way stronger than I am. Like guys, seriously, she's, she's a beast. Um, optimistic, you can't take that away from my wife. You can't. She's laughing and she's in good spirits. So one of the unexpected weird things that we've learned about this ailment is that she still has vision out of her right eye, but she can't blink. And you need to blink apparently. Like apparently blinking is super important because it keeps your eyeball moisturized. Who knew? So what they have you do is they have you wear an eye patch. You tape your eyes shut so it's nice and moisturized and you cover it with an eye patch. Guys, we're the Izzy's. We're the masters of terrible DIYs and art. Like we're creatives 24 seven. We got this in the bag. For example, right now I'm making her a super photorealistic eye patch. You won't even be able to tell the difference. I went to art school. This looks real. You can't even tell it's an eye patch. That is amazing. And if she's ever like super mad one day, all you gotta do is add a little line for anger. Make a little cat eye for extra pizzazz. Man, I'm gonna start wearing one. She's like super mad. Or if she's ever feeling like super goofy, look, we have so many of these like everywhere, everywhere. We could do one with like 14 of them. Or when she's feeling like super fancy or we need to go to like a nice place to eat, look. This is perfect. So guys, I have a plan, I have an idea. This is where I need your help. You know, we are keeping it super positive and optimistic around the house, we are. But it never hurts to have more positive vibes coming in. And I think it would be absolutely amazing if you guys could uh, drop us an email. Just like say some kind words. You can attach anything, you can attach pictures, you can do whatever you want. And I can guarantee you that my wife Strider will read every single one of them. Um, I'm gonna drop our email address in the description of this video and then just Send her something, your thoughts. It would mean the world to me, and I know it would mean the world for her if you did this. But yeah, we got this, and we'll give you updates as we go. I don't know if our upload schedule is going to be altered or changed. It might be, it might not be, so TBD. But know that if it is changed, that's why we're just dealing with some medical stuff. Temporary medical stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep drawing eyeballs. I'm out.